Hi, this is our 2010 Allegro Red, Tiffin Allegro Red 38 QBA. Has about 53,000 miles on it, about 725 hours on the generator. It's got the Cummins Onan 8,000 watt generator. It's got the Cummins ISB 6.7 uh, liter motor, 340 horsepower, 660 foot pounds of torque. Uh, we are not the original owner, we are the second owner. Uh, the original owner lived near Red Bay and had some customizations such as these chrome mirrors added, which are nice. I'll show you more as we walk through the coach. I want to also show you uh, some of the oops points so there's no surprises when you arrive. Here's the first one. This is courtesy of a tree that decided to move a little bit closer to our campsite while we were sleeping up in Lake George. And when we backed out, we decided to get a little uh, up close and personal with it. Uh, we upgraded the headlights to LED headlights. Uh, the original incandescent headlight assembly is still here. If you choose to swap it back, that'll get passed along. Here is the second oops point, which is a slight rub in the diamond coat when we decided to push a picnic table in Alabama out of the way that we didn't see. One of the upgrades that the original owner did was uh, added the uh, clear coat process that the Phaeton uses, which is a couple coats, I believe, beyond what the normal Allegro Red receives. Uh, here's one of our favorite updates that or upgrades that he did, the sliding trays in the two cargo bays. And these are full pass-through bays, as you can see, and the trays slide out to the driver's side as well. The driver's side doors are closed at the moment. Along with the cargo trays, we'll pass along a couple extras that we've picked up over the years, as well as some that came with the coach originally from the original owner, such as spare floor tiles. Uh, there is a spare cabinet door for the kitchen area. There is the TV uh, from the front console, which will show you why that was removed when we get inside, along with the original surround sound system uh, that we upgraded to a high quality system and uh, easier, easier to use system. Uh, the box there has some spare parts for cabinet hardware and uh, wheel hardware, such as uh, lug nut covers, chrome covers, and hubcap covers. This is a uh, replacement dome for the bathroom skylight. We replaced the original about three years ago, and this was a second that we purchased. Uh, there is a spare refrigerator cover for the outside of the coach, as well as a hot water heater cover. Uh, both of the ones that are on there now are in good shape, but these are spares in case you have any damage. They get dropped or what have you, and of course the ladder to uh, make it easier to get up on the roof. Here's our next oops point that I'll show you which is when we pulled off to the side of the road to look at a national monument in Arizona, a rock decided to pop up and uh, scratch the wheel well, which is a little hard to see in the video here, I think, but um, it's not horrible. And then on this cargo bay door, the last oops point outside is uh, a little sp scrape there where I think a squirrel tried to key our coach or something crazy like that. At any rate, as we come to this bay, which has got some interesting things in it, I guess that's worth showing you. We have uh, two maintenance-free start batteries for the engine, and we've got spare filters for both the engine, fuel, oil, uh, not air, but that's the only filter that's not in here that we carry as a spare. We also have spares for the generator, as well as fluids to top off anything that might be a little low, which we'll pass along to whoever purchases the coach. The original owner put uh, mud flap on it which can be personalized if you like and in the electrical bay we did the progressive industry surge protector upgrade as well as the battery tender for the start batteries and I'll show you the monitor panel for the progressive industries surge protector when we get inside in the wet bay nothing too uh, crazy to show you here but we have the basket uh, that the original owner screwed onto the door which is great because you can keep your fresh water hose separate from your dump hose, uh, keep everything clean. Uh, we changed the uh, water pump about two years ago, and this has the fiberglass floor from the factory. That was an update over the MDF, which was problematic for rotting out. And then in the uh, coach battery bay, we upgraded the batteries to six, six volt uh, AGM batteries which are great for dry camping. Plenty of power to keep the refrigerator alive, as well as the TV, music system, 
some lights, etc., for several hours before you have to turn on the generator restart. As we come in the coach, the next upgrade that the original owner provided for us when we bought was carpeting in the entry and the cockpit, which was removable for cleaning. Uh, it snaps into place, which is great. So you can get underneath it if you want. They also had this little storage drawer put in for the uh, passenger area, which we just keep the Bluetooth receiver outside. Uh, I didn't really show you, but in the cargo bays, we have an outdoor speaker system as well as hookups for an outdoor TV. And that Bluetooth receiver allows you to stream audio to the outdoor speakers, which is great. Another upgrade we did is the mount for the uh, for a Garmin GPS along with power. So that's live all the time. Uh, we put in the color monitor upgrade from the original from the factory along with color side and backup cameras. Backup camera's nice. It also gives you distance uh, markings when you're backing up. We put in the uh, temperature um, and, uh, excuse me, temperature and uh, compass module so you always know what the outdoor temperature is as well as the direction you're heading in quick glance without even having to look at the GPS which is kind of nice. Above the driver is the console where the Progressive Industries monitor is in the upper right there that was added by us uh, so you can keep tabs on the voltage and the power that you're drawing. Uh, of course the uh, surge protector shuts off if anything dangerous happens that's the purpose of it. Of course you have your tank monitoring your power monitoring, uh, you've got your slide control for the front of the coach, uh, the two slides in the front, you've got uh, your hot water heater controls as well. A couple things that are worth showing you so there's no surprises when you come to look at it. We've got some deterioration from sun bleach, I believe, of the front driver's seat and a little bit on the passenger seat. These appear to be just cosmetic. Um, they don't affect the performance. I understand you can get covers for these, although it never really bothered us, so we didn't buy, we didn't have not pursued that yet. Another upgrade that the original owner provided on this coach was he put had uh, Tiffin install the air mattress that comes on the Phaeton versus the Allegro Red, and we've had many people from adults to kids sleep on that very comfortably. And when that's pulled out, it's still easy to pass by and walk walk past. The loveseat also jackknifes out, and you can sleep a couple little ones on there if you like. Um, and you can have both of these couches opened up and still walk between them. It's quite nice. In the kitchen area, we've got the three-burner propane stove, as well as the convection microwave oven. And if you're not familiar with Tiffin, this is a trademark of the amazing amount of storage that they provide in their coach. Full slide drawers, cavernous cavernous. We easily pack two weeks worth of food and clothing in, in this coach for our family when we travel. We have the tops for the uh, uh, for the sink there. We keep them stored below because they tend to rattle when you're driving a little bit. That's just our preference, but the dinette is currently in the stowed position. If you pull the table out and you grab the two folding chairs from under the bed and back, you can seat four very comfortably around the table obviously. Uh, we've got two zones of HVAC. We have the upgraded uh, heat pump system so you can use the electric shore power for heat when it's not too cold out. And uh, that's a freebie versus burning your propane which is kind of nice. Here we have the soundbar upgrade that I discussed as well as the smart TV that we upgraded for a much better experience and much easier to use. We have a universal remote control which makes watching TV a pleasure from streaming content on the smart TV to using the built-in uh, Blu-ray player. So up front, I showed you the TV underneath that used to be in the front. Our family prefers music, so it's a little hard to see in the video, but rather than the TV up front, we installed a pair of stereo speakers and a subwoofer, which provides better entertainment for us personally. One TV in the living area was enough for us. And here is the Blu-ray player that's distributed uh, amongst the four TV locations, the front being one, if you want to put the TV back, we will put that back in for you, no problem. Uh, amplification for the stereo system is there, uh, but the Blu-ray is also fed to the outdoor TV hookups, which were in one of the bays, the primary TV here, as well as the bedroom TV. As we walk back, uh, this coach has the upgraded uh, four-door 
refrigerator with the wood panels and it's in very good shape. It also has the ice maker, which we use all the time. We did the JC refrigeration upgrade to this unit so you don't have to worry about the Norcold re recall anymore, causing any uh, concerns with fire. You do obviously lose the use of propane on the refrigerator, but we found that the JC refrigeration upgrade was, was a very worthwhile upgrade because we got better performance out of the cooling. And uh, we also noticed it uses less power than the old unit did, even when out electric. Here's our favorite aspect of this coach. Well, I don't know if it's our favorite. One of the favorites is the bunk beds. Our kids um, are larger now and they like to sleep a little late. <laughs> So they can stay in the comfort of their bunks as long as they want and not affect my wife and I as we want to get up, get outside, walk around, have breakfast, watch TV, whatever. The coach is completely usable as long as they want to sleep and they're not disturbing anyone. In the back bed, we have the original 32-inch TV and we've got a dedicated Blu-ray player so you can either finish the movie from the primary Blu-ray player when you come back or you can watch your own movie back here independent of what's going on in the rest of the coach, which is kind of nice. That's a uh, Bluetooth Blu-ray player, so you can control operate it with the doors closed. Um, the one option or upgrade that this coach does not have is the washer dryer, but what it does gain, it does have the hookup, so if you choose to put the washer dryer in, the electric and, and water are there. But what you gain is an absolute cavernous space. Uh, I don't have my jacks down, so I'm a little off level here. Um, we can store tons of clothes in here it's it's dynamite uh, there's actually even a rod up there if you want to store hanging stuff and remove the shelves for that and of course you have your giant wardrobe which I'm sure you're familiar with um, that's cavernous and then of course the bed and then we'll come back towards the bathroom take a quick peek at that we've got cabinetry out here to store your linens and towels and by the way the slides are obviously open the bathroom door opens fully when the slides are open even when the slides are pulled in you can get in this bathroom it's it's a little bit of a squeeze but we do it all the time and uh, it works great and we love that feature that you can use the bathroom while under a way without having to open any slides here's the shower pretty standard works great plenty of room Obviously the sink, vanity mirror, plenty of storage in the bathroom as well for your toiletries. Nice, nice big mirror to get dressed and comfortable. And here's a kind of an overall view from the back looking forward. I'll try to sneak up here so you can kind of get a sense of the space from the dinette to the three person couch to the love seat which both have seat belts, by the way, so you can have seven people strapped in safely. They happen to be stowed at the moment. And that's about it. Thank you very much.